Well folks, welcome to the video where we're going to dismantle the Daiwa 175. And this is what it looks like. Now this is um, sold on the internet as a mooching reel or a trolling reel. And it is quite a heavy solid reel. However it's made from zinc cast which suggests to me it may not be a salt reel. Um, it may have been formulated to um, fish for salmon maybe. And it looks quite a lot like a dry fly reel, so perhaps, especially with this here, so perhaps it is a salmon reel. Um, it's not entirely clear, there's no history of Daiwa on the internet anywhere, so it's not entirely clear what the uh, the 175 was for. Now this piece here has already come loose, so uh, I, I didn't take that off, it just fell off. <laughs> but it is quite an old reel, in <laughs> actual fact. So. so on the back here, you can turn the ratchet on and off. Now that implies that you may be casting something like a, a heavy plug. So this might well be a plugging reel, uh, a, tro a trolling and mooching reel, maybe, for salmon probably. Okay, so first off, this is a spring-loaded drag, which goes on the top there. And that takes your spool off, and inside you can see the mechanism. Okay. So, if you get a very, um, very small screwdriver and leave it out either side of the uh, the spring there, keep your finger on it, otherwise it'll do what it just did there and that's ping off somewhere. And there's a single washer under there, a thick washer. Okay, these handle screws are very stiff and that is pretty good. You don't, you don't really want handle screws not to be stiff, <laughs> for obvious reasons. So that's about as far as you can take that apart. And the handle, if you look at the handle there, there's a little axle inside, which can be cleaned up and get all the corrosion off it. And uh, you can put a bit of graphite on it, or you can oil it. Okay, so the back screw comes out, um, but it's it's not a good idea to actually dislodge the spindle uh, unless you absolutely have to replace it from the spindle from another reel. Uh, you won't get spares for this now, so you'll have to be off another reel. Now you note that this real foot has three screws in it. Um, that's a sure indicator that this is designed for quite large fish. The foot itself is made from pretty strong stuff and it's not thin. You know, that's nearly three mil thick or something like that. Okay, the ratchet lever comes out, which I think is allowing you to cast. You can turn the ratchet on or off which says to me that this is probably not a fly reel it's more of a plugging reel I think There's not so much information on these and there's a half moon structure comes off on the other side and then you're left with the um, the brass pieces there's a spring washer which comes off and then the spring just lifts out that's pretty easy to get that off in fact and then the brass piece here just lifts off and that contains the ratchet which also comes loose and you can if you want take that off but you don't really need to okay these are the guard screws the guard just comes off you pull it now it's just a note on these reels that um, you see there uh, there are actually three of these holes that is so that you can put the guard either here or here so that you can have a left-handed or right-handed reel um, so don't worry about one of those having nothing in it because that's perfectly normal so that's the Dial 175 dismantled okay folks that brings us to this little video thanks so much for watching